You're probably thinking, whoa, you normally don't upload on Sunday, and you guys are right. Welcome to Book Week, where I'm gonna be sharing a video every single day for the entire week. You guys loved Bookmas so much, so I figured I would bring back something kind of similar, where you guys are getting a video every single day for the whole week. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna do this for the whole year, or just for this month, like I really, I think it'll really depend on like if you guys enjoy this or not. So make sure to comment below if you guys are excited for book week. There'll be a video literally Sunday through Saturday, every single day for the whole week. Um, and if you guys do like it, I might add it into the monthly rotation, but that would literally be like more than 40 additional videos per year. So like, I really wanna know if this is something you guys would be excited about. So let me know in the comments. But in this video, obviously you guys can see from the title, I'm gonna be sharing tons of books that I think you guys will love. These are all romance book recs for Valentine's Day. You guys can see they're all pink, which I think is just, I don't know, it's my vibe. So I figure like, you guys are probably thinking about Valentine's Day because it's very, very soon and you're probably wanting to get your hands on a book so you can like read it and get in the Valentine's Day mood. So I'm sharing 10 recs here and I think out of the 10 recs, uh, seven of them are diverse reads. So let's get into these recs and I hope you guys enjoy. So all these book recs that I'm gonna be sharing are books that I've read before and love and the first book is By the Book by Jasmine Gullery. Jasmine Gullery is a black author that really got me into diverse reading because her books are so good. I shared a video on TikTok and one of the comments that someone left was like, hey, can you share books by black authors where like the protagonist is just being loved down, like isn't going through like trauma, it's fluffy and happy. And this is literally that book. It is so fluffy, so fun. And it's a wreck that I give to a lot of people who are just looking for fluffy, fun, easy read. It's about a girl who works in publishing and the guy who is like writing the book, he's like taking his time to write the book. So she goes to his house and is like, hey, like, hello, like you're not writing this book. And he was like, okay, well, I'll write the book if you help me. And she's like, okay, like I'll do whatever I need to do to get you to write it. He's like, whatever. And she's like, yeah, I'll do literally whatever. And he, <laughs> He's like, okay, I need you to stay here at my house and help me write this book. And now this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, so it does have some like features that you would see in Beauty and the Beast, but it's so cute, really fluffy, and I really enjoyed this one. If You'll Have Me by Uni is a queer read and it is a graphic novel. I've been really getting into graphic novels lately because I feel like they're a nice palette cleanser. Like if you're going from a really sad, heavy book and you wanna get into something that's like lighter, I feel like just, I don't know, graphic novels are really easy for that. This book in particular I really liked because the like graphics are so pretty, the colors are really nice, and I think what I also liked about this is that the main character in this book, she really is learning to love herself, which I think is something you don't see often in like romances. I feel like she is very insecure at the beginning of the book, and by the end of the book she's totally transformed. Um, so I really like this one. It's a very easy read and one I would definitely recommend. Book Con by Cerisia Glass is a book that is very different, which is why I wanted to make sure to add it into these recommendations. It's not like, I mean, it's not like a five star read, like that's for sure. I'd say that it's probably in like the middle ground area. But the reason I'm recommending this is because I have not seen a book like this done. The main character actually loves cosplay and she like does um, these different like, um, costumes that she creates for cosplay and she actually ends up entering a competition. Her best friend is like, you know, great job, you're doing this, it's awesome. But in the competition, she like lies and tells the um, producer that she's actually in a relationship with the guy. She's not in a relationship. And so she ends up fake dating her best friend and y'all, there's a moment in this book where it like escalates and he kind of has to like have her back and he's just like the sweetest boy throughout the whole book. But in that moment, I was like, okay, like, all right. Like, I, I see you're a tough guy, like, deep down. Like, it is very good. And so they go on this TV show and they're fake dating and, like, people are kind of speculating, like, are they real or are they not? Um, but then they actually start to have feelings for each other. It is such a cute read. Again, very fluffy, which most of these books are very fluffy and fun. And I feel like you will really like this one. Hedgie and Delilah's Year of Falling. I love this book. I've recommended this so much and this was actually a four star read for me. Um, it's one of my first books by Elise Bryant but I love her book so much. She is one of the authors that doesn't really have spice like at all and she writes a lot of like fluffy reads so if you're looking for a black author who writes a lot of like fluffy just fun palette cleanser books I feel like she's definitely good for that. 
Um, this book is about obviously Reggie and Delilah and they keep like randomly meeting on holidays which is kind of like cute throughout the book like just they happen to like meet up by accident. Um, so it's kind of like the cute coincidence that just like keeps popping up kind of like a rom-com that you would see. But Reggie he is someone who plays like Dungeons and Dragons and he's like a little nervous to like share that with people and Delilah she is just like she joined this um band and she's like the lead singer but she's super nervous because she just doesn't think she's gonna do that well and so both of them have things that like they're very nervous about and not confident in but they when they meet up with each other they both are pretending like they're super confident so as the story goes on they're both like well I don't want to like be vulnerable because this other person that I like is like super confident and like they're both thinking that so towards the end of the book you start to see like their real selves come out and it is just so freaking cute I I just I really love this book and obviously they're not comfortable in who they are and as they get like the book goes on you see them become more comfortable in who they are which I really loved. Red, White, and Royal Blue was a four star read for me and it was a four star read not necessarily because like the writing because I think the writing style was a little bit like there wasn't enough dialogue for me at times but I think it was a four star read because this book is so freaking needed. This is a queer read and it's a like forbidden romance and both of the characters like can't be with each other but I the whole book I was like please get together please get together like there was so much angst and uh one of them is the Prince of Wales and then the other one is uh the son of the first lady like the or the president or whatever and so like they definitely cannot be together because it's like very taboo and the whole time like first they start off as like absolute enemies like hate each other and then they kind of like start to come around and like you see their feelings grow and like the forbidden romance is here and I feel like in a lot of romances it's like okay like is it really forbidden like no it's not that forbidden but like this is like actually like there's very high stakes with this um because they could both like really ruin their families because their love is not accepted which is so sad so there's a lot of important conversations in this book i think this is a, this would be a great book for a book club um again i wish that there was more dialogue in this but I rated this four stars and read it from start to finish and it was a really enjoyable read. Real by Kenny Ryan. Oh my gosh guys this book made me cry. I got so emotional with this one and I think it's because just like the love in this is so deep. This is a alternate cover. The other cover has like people in the front. You can find this um, if you type in real on uh, Meraki. I think that's what it's called or not Meraki like I think that's what it's, I'll link a couple below, but like people resell books and a lot of people have re like uh, sold this book in this cover and I got this brand new. But this is about a, um, two characters and it's, it's pretty long. Like it is a taller book than most and it is almost 500 pages. Um, so you're definitely like getting an in-depth look at them. And this is one of those books where it's not a slow burn, but it definitely takes them a while to like really get into their love. So it's kind of a slow burn, but not like a true slow burn. Um, but both characters are not supposed to be together because one of the characters is a uh, director and the other one is the actress in the uh, like show that they're producing or movie they're producing. It has so much history in this like true like just such a beautiful beautiful book. Um, it was really nice because while you were reading this book you're also getting another story because as she's acting in this movie they're like telling the story of the movie which I thought was really interesting to read too. So this was a four star read. I really enjoy Kennedy Ryan's books and this was very emotional for me when I read it. Um, and I would recommend this to anyone. I've also heard the audiobook of this is really good because you get to hear her singing. Um, and I didn't even know this but the in the audiobook my cousin is actually like one of the people who's singing in the audiobook so I still need to listen to that but um, yeah definitely pick this one up. It's great for Valentine's Day. Love and other words. I don't even need to talk about this book. Like I feel like I talk about it enough because you guys know that this is a five star read for me. I read it last year and I read it the year before last. I'll probably read it again this year. This is my comfort read. Um, it is such a beautiful romance and I always tell people if I could only recommend one romance it would be this one because it's so easy to read. It's super enjoyable and it's about Elliot and Macy and they were like best friends growing up and then something pulled them apart and so you get to see 
in a then and now timeline in the past that they're super super close but in the future like they're not close and they get reconnected so you kind of see them starting to rekindle their friendship maybe rekindle their love and the whole time you're just like what freaking happened to pull them apart because as you're seeing the story in the past they like were just the best of friends and started to have feelings for each other and like they read together and it is just one of the like most soft, beautiful love stories. Um, so passionate and again, a five star read for me, I'll probably read every year again and again and one book I recommend to anyone, especially to new readers because I feel like it's super easy to like fly through this. Um, but yeah, I really love this one and I think that this would be a good book for anyone to read. Now I do have a book that um, I feel like I don't recommend often and it's called The Two of Us by Taylor Torres. Now this book is like a book I don't recommend often because I don't really think that like I don't know there I feel like there's not really a place for it because like when I do a lot of my videos, I'll do videos that are like enemies to lovers, like, or all these different like tropes and stuff that have specific like, um, tropes that you're looking for, you know what I mean? And this book isn't really in a specific trope, but I think that's what I love because you can tell that the author was really just following like the plot of the story, um, and really just following the characters and you just really get connected to them. So, uh, this was a four star read for me. I really enjoyed this one as well. It's a friends to lovers story, but you don't really see their friendship that much. Like they used to be friends when they were younger and then they had like something that pulled them apart and they kind of like reconnect when they're older. So it's kind of second chance, but it also kind of isn't because like the main characters are going through so much with their families. It is a really, really good book. This is by a debut author and I read this either last year or the year before last, I can't really remember, but literally on the back it says, sometimes holding on to pain means letting go of love. And this is a book where I feel like the love is also very passionate. Um, I don't see people pick up this book enough and that's why I love recommending indie authors because like this book isn't sold in barns, like you can really only find it online. Um, it is a very, very sweet romance and I feel like you'll really like this one. This is a book that will make you cry. I feel like everyone in their mom has read this book, but if you haven't, definitely pick it up. It's called A Thousand Boy Kisses. It is so emotional like so emotional this uh the two main characters they're like so in love like head over heels for each other want to be with each other forever and then something pulls them apart something that's just like so devastating and years later whenever they uh reconnect like one of the characters i don't want to say who but one of them is very bitter and like kind of mad at the other character for like what happened in the past and so you kind of see one of the characters chipping away at the heart of the person who's angry at them to be like this is why i had to do what i did um it is a very heartfelt romance i sobbed reading this book and i like finished this book i want to say on like an airplane or something literally straight sobbing like straight sobbing while i'm reading this book on an airplane it was very emotional i do think that this was a very um like cheesy romance so definitely keep that in mind but i think the cheesiness of it is also what makes it feel very like I don't know, Valentine's Day Hallmark-esque. So definitely listen to um, the playlist on Spotify for Thousand Boy Kisses. You can just type in on Spotify Thousand Boy Kisses playlist and it'll come up. There's a ton of them and it like makes the mood of the book even more like a movie. This one I like to recommend because it is a book that'll make you cry. On the back it says one kiss lasts a lifetime but a thousand kisses can last a lifetime. Or one kiss lasts a moment but a thousand kisses can last a lifetime. And Oh, it's heartbreaking. It's so heartbreaking, but it's so good. I wanted to share one book that I haven't read that I'm excited to read, and it is called Waiting on Wendy by Tanzia Glover. I want to share this book because I feel like you guys always want to know what books I'm planning on reading, and I'm adding this into my February TBR, but I didn't share it in my February TBR video because I wanted to share it here. Um, this book looks really good and perfect for Valentine's Day. On the back it says, what would you do if you had six months left to live? Initially, Kellen Turner plans to live as, an, as normally as possible, then go peacefully into the night. But when his longtime crush waitress, Wendy Bell, finally works up the nerve to ask him out, he realizes that he just may have something to live for and fight for after all. I can't deal with books where people are like, about to die like I'm already gonna cry just thinking about this it 
looks really good um this is also by a debut author i'm pretty sure um no this isn't a debut author she's actually written um i think some other like books as well but i've never read anything from her before it looks so cute obviously you guys can see the cover is just literally giving fairy tale valentine's day vibes and is a great valentine's romance wreck and so i had to share it with you and that is all the books that i have to share with you guys let me know your thoughts let me know if you guys are excited for this week if you guys are excited for what's to come i'm definitely very nervous because i've never done this before but i've been sitting on this idea for a while and i've never seen anyone do it and so i wanted to add it into this year because you guys loved book miss so much so i think that it'll be fun to do like a little book week now will i keep this forever I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know, but I for sure want to add it into this week because I thought it would be fun and you guys have really been missing Book Miss because it wasn't that long ago that there were videos every single day for the whole month. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one. Bye guys!